If today is your first time of seeing me, I am AJ Yebo. And today I have here with me my brother-in-law, my doctor. I will let him introduce himself to you. Should I call you Dr. Nicholas or Dr. Nate? Dr. Nate will do. Dr. Nate, okay. So Dr. Nate, you are welcome to the AJY show. Please introduce yourself to my people. Very well. So my name is Nicholas Tetanati, doctor. Uh, my friends call me Nyumobi. <laughs> Otherwise, Nicholas is fine. Okay, so w w whenever someone sees you in town, the person can call you. Just say Nyumobi and I'll turn. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nyumobi, and what does that mean? Um, child of God. Oh, wow, wow, God. wow. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Nate. Um, I once had a, a conversation with two friends of mine on my couple channel. Okay. We were talking about sex after birth. Okay. And one lady mentioned something concerning fertility and conceiving and all those things. And in a comment section, someone dropped a comment that, AJ, I would love you to talk about PCOS. Okay. I was like, hey, what is PCOS? And I was like, oh, okay, then I'll bring a doctor to talk about it because I have no idea about PCOS. So what is PCOS? Okay, so PCOS, um, the full thing can be called um, polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay. And this is a condition um, which is quite common. Um, statistics show roughly about... Um, 10% of, of females who are in their reproductive ages um, have this condition. Um, it's a syndrome um, because it comes along with other um, conditions. So it's not just one, it's like a full package, okay. so to speak. Um, cyst, as in fluid containing. Okay. Poly, meaning a lot. So polycystic, so multiple cysts in the ovary. Okay. That is what we are talking about. Um, it is a um, very treatable condition. Okay. Um, it can be managed by your doctors. And I'm sure as we go on, we would we'll talk, um, about. talk more about that. Okay, okay. So um, you said what, polycystic words? I don't polycystic want, I, I don't want, I don't want to syndrome. mention the name. <laughs> I don't want Otherwise, any trouble. You can say peacocks. Peacocks. Okay, yes. then I prefer peacocks. Okay. Mm, peacocks is better. <laughs> Very well. Okay, so um, Dr. Nate, who can get peacocks? Okay, so... Um, and what causes peacocks? So, the actual cause of um, peacocks or polycystic ovarian syndrome um, uh, is not really known. However, uh, we know that multiple factors um that is to say a number of things go to influence um, this condition so when you have imbalance in your hormone levels okay. um, hormones are chemicals in the body which are responsible for communicating um so to speak in, in, in the body. Okay. So when you have an imbalance in these hormone levels, that's what predispose you to um, getting polycystic ovarian okay. syndrome. Again, um, you ask who is at risk of getting yes. it. So anyone who is within the reproductive age, that is um, between the ages of 15 to 30, 35, um, you are at risk of getting polycystic ovarian syndrome. Wow. Anyone also who um, has a sedentary lifestyle. And when you say that, what does it mean? So um, the person is not active. The person um, doesn't exercise. The person um, really doesn't do much. Okay. So more of in relation to your level of activity, okay. so sedentary lifestyle. Okay. People who are obese as well um, mm -hmm. are at risk of getting polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay. And all of this, we are referring to ladies. Okay. So <laughs> a man cannot get polycystic ovarian syndrome. <laughs> okay. So yes. And then importantly, um, if you have this 
in your family. So we should say hereditary. Okay. Even though um, a particular gene, as far as um, I know, has not been identified, it has been noted that um, if you have anyone in your family, say a relative, your sister, your mother, you are at risk of developing polycystic ovarian syndrome okay. as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wow. I never knew it's hereditary. It is. It is. Wow. So, Dr. Nati, how can a lady know that she has got this condition, the PCOS condition? Very well. So, um, you cannot know that you have polycystic ovarian syndrome unless, um, of course, you go to the hospital and you are diagnosed of it. Um, because a number of conditions can present this way. Um, first of all, your menstrual cycle may be very irregular. Um, that is to say that you either bleed very heavily or you don't even have your menses at all. Or when you have your menses in a whole year, your, the number of cycles you have would be less than eight. Oh, okay. Again, people who um, have polycystic ovarian syndrome um, often are obese. Yes. So, like I said, it's one of the causes or the risk factors. Mm -hmm. um, however, people who are often um, having peacocks are obese. Um, also, you may notice that you develop a lot of facial hair, what we call hair suitism, okay. or male pattern hair distribution. Okay. Um, that should also uh, make you see your doctor. Again, you um, are likely to have a lot of acne. Okay. And all of this is caused by the hormonal imbalances I mentioned okay. earlier. So you have um, high, what we call male hormones, androgen levels okay. in your body. And this is responsible for um, all the symptoms or the signs we would see. Yes. So maybe if... I'm not obese, but when I have my menses, it's for only two, it can't for only two days. Okay. Can that be a factor? So, so um, it's not, in polycystic ovarian syndrome, they rather often would tend to have very heavy bleeds and okay. longer periods. Okay. Okay. Or they do not have their menses at, at all. all. Yes. Oh, we have ladies like that. Yes, yes, yes. Can mm -hmm. this thing be treated? Yes, um, peacocks can be treated. However, you should take note of these um, red flags. If you have irregular menses, you have anyone in your family who has been diagnosed of this condition before, um, or you are not having your menses at all, um, please do see your doctor and then um, they will take you through the processes and then um, diagnose and treat you. Okay. Yes, it can be treated, as I said earlier. Um, with treatment, um, it depends on whether you want to bear children or not. But the very basic thing that either groups would be taking through is to make sure, one, you lose weight. It's noted that when you lose about 5 to 10% of your body weight, um, your chances of um, correcting um, this whole condition improves. Oh, okay. Also, um, we would want you to exercise and that will help you in losing the weight. Mm -hmm. So, um, the first line is not necessarily drugs. Okay. Weight loss, diet, healthy eating, um, that together with your exercise will help you um, in managing this condition. Okay. Then also we bring in the drugs. Okay. And again, the drugs, like I said, depends on whether or not you want to bear children or not, or, or not. yes. Okay. Um, that would be handled by your doctor. So I'm not going to go too much into that. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's true. <laughs> then also the um, people who have the issue of infertility, um, when you see your doctor, your doctor will take you through the processes 
and then all the options will be made available to you. So be rest assured that yes, um, this condition can be managed and as soon as you notice the red flags, please see your doctor. When you visit the hospital, um, what your doctor will take you through would be to take information from you. So we want to know when it started, how it started, um, what your cycle is like. We want to know um, whether or not you have anyone in your family who has issues with her menses, who has issues with bearing children. We want to take all of those personal details from you. Okay. And then we also want to know whether you're on any medications because sometimes um, these medications also can affect your hormone levels, okay. yes. Okay. And um, interestingly, one of the medications that can be used are the oral contraceptive pills. <laughs> yes, but all of that, like I said, will depend on your doctor. Yeah. So um, as soon as you notice these red flags, um, remember to visit the hospital and get checked up. Apart from they taking your information and um, your history, as we call it, um, your doctor will also examine you and want to find out uh, whether there are any um, lesions, as in whether you have acne, whether you have male pattern, hair distribution, okay. whether you are getting the male pattern baldness, whether you have other signs um of this syndrome um so this can come along with things like diabetes type 2 diabetes yes so your doctor would examine for all of that and then run a few blood tests okay. um, to check your hormones and then to rule out other causes of your irregular menses or um, your issues with infertility because like I said earlier, um, infect, um, um, polycystic ovarian syndrome, all the things it presents with um, can be caused with, by other things as okay. well, like issues with your thyroid. Okay. Yes. So your doctor would go through all that and then check what exactly the problem is. Mm. An ultrasound would also be performed. Um, so what we call the transvaginal ultrasound, to take a view of your ovaries. Okay. And that is what will show us that indeed you have the cysts in the ovaries and okay. um, help confirm our diagnosis. Yes. Then after which your doctor will take you through the treatment plan. Okay, so you can't just be the old and be like, oh, I have this, so I'm just going to the pharmacy to get this medicine. You Not can't do all. it that way. Oh, Not okay. at all. Okay. Because, again, like I said, other um, conditions could present the same, same way. Yes. Okay, okay. So, ladies, you've heard it for yourself. So, if you have any, any of the red flags that he has mentioned, please visit your hospital and let your doctor diagnose you before you think of anything. So, Dr. Nati, thanks so much. But do you have That's anything to tell us, like any advice for the ladies? Well, um, continue to exercise, okay. continue to eat healthy, um, not the pizza and the burger, <laughs> the shawamas and the drinks, um, eat healthy. Okay. exercise um, maintain a healthy weight and um, yes hopefully trust in your god everything will be fine very very necessary with without god hmm, nothing can work so with god everything is possible so if you've been able to watch this far we say um you are blessed to listen to this conversation yeah god bless you so until next time it's aj jemu Thanks so much, Dr. Nadi. Thank you, again. too. It's my pleasure. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>